Hello everyone, and I know you know this couple, okay? I know you know this couple. If you don't know this couple, this is young Kim Kardashian and um, the infamous um, Ray J, okay? Brandis' brother. All right, and also the one that was with Whitney Houston prior to her demise. All right, I'm just saying. Woo, y'all remember Kim? She had a sex tape that she did with uh, Ray J, and I don't know if Ray J put it out or she dropped it out herself and she became a overnight sensation i ain't gonna say orn put the p in it and what you get girl all right she's always uh seemingly basically wears no clothes no clothes at all or if it's clothes on it's very sexual and she leaves nothing to the imagination i mean nothing okay she is dressed like this at the Met Gala. Okay, this is something that is usually uh, for the higher ups, where the tickets are like thirty-two thousand or thirty-five thousand to attend, and it's truly, really uh, a noteworthy type of, I guess, patron. If you like uh, uh, museums, if you like the arts, uh, that's basically. Uh, where you would go if you're the who's who and you want to see different artistic designs and um, paintings and, you know, just anything that the artist may want to express themselves on. It's usually, um, what do you call it, uh, taken in by the higher ups, the elite, the more echelon type of crust of people, okay? <sighs> and it's usually after the VMA Awards. I don't know, maybe it's a ritual type of um, presentation they have right after the VMA Awards, okay? And then you go attend that and you look at all the little art and, and stuff uh, that the elite do, you know what I'm saying? Not an elite. Don't practice to be trying to be an elite, but yeah, it's some crazy stuff. And don't know how she got from this cat suit right here into her Met Gala outfit where she shows nothing of a facial figure kind of almost remind you of a dark spirit you know trying to creep up on you like girl but i'm Deb chanel's 40 days world and welcome to my channel my video channel okay where we talk about mostly celebrities and um any interesting um celebrity news out there and i do primarily um focus my attention on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, because I'm from Atlanta, and hey, why not cover the people that live here, all right, in my state, in my neck of the woods, if y'all would say, but yes, honey, I'm trying to say, what in the world, Kim Kardashian, what is this Halloween trick-or-treat ensemble are you giving us tonight, love, what, you, you make it do what it do, but you look like an evil spirit ready to inhabit someone. You know, the Jezebel spirit. I know y'all know about that. I'm like, what is going on with this child? I said, you know what? Her and Kanye West belong together. They really do. Because they are always pushing the envelope to another level what they may feel a higher level for the fashion community. I mean, but I ain't gonna lie. Them black boots, those little boots, they hot, they hot, they hot, they hot in a good way is what I'm saying. And she definitely got a, a banging figure, so it just all encapsul encapsulate her real well. But I'm like, it had to be hot as hell out there. And she running around now with all that black on that's going to create and generate more heat. And then she got a face cover. I'm like, okay, is that your mask, baby? Is that your mask? I don't know if that material is going to catch the droplets and the germs that's going to be around you with all those people. But, you know, maybe you got the COVID shot. But, hey, even if you got the COVID shot, both doses, people still getting COVID. Okay? Just a lighter version of the turmoil you may go through. Okay? But I bet on the right, that's Kanye. That's Kanye. He's faceless. He's, he's faceless. And I'm like, why you got to be all in black? You know what I'm saying? Because <sighs> right now you're giving me demon spirit. That's what you're giving me. Demon spirit. I mean, is this your uh, Halloween costume you're giving us? Hold on for one second. Mom. 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 Wake up. Sorry about that, guys. I heard my mom down the hall having a little nightmare uh, in her dreaming state. 
So we had to get her on up, uh, adjust her so she can readjust and get that good sleep we know she need. All right, but yeah, um, this kind of got, it seems like Kanye West all over it. You know, he like, baby, let's make a statement. And I really thought they both were divorced or going through a divorce. What's going on? What's going on? I, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, what kind of early trick-or-treat Halloween message you trying to give your followers, your fans? Okay, Kim, what, what's going on? I mean, Ray J, he had you for a long time. Then I think you got with Reggie Bush, I think. And then you ended up with Kanye West. And we kind of see where that's going. Look at that one-eye symbol thing going on with her hair. But I'm like, okay. I don't understand. She is one lady that have capitalized on her sexuality and made millions. And, of course, her mom, Kris Jenner. Uh, I think her name is Kris Jenner. Well, anyway. Um... The lady that was married to Bruce Jenner and Rob Kardashian is when she really got her hit with marrying uh, the lawyer, Rob Kardashian, that was uh, trying to represent uh, O.J. until he um, became deceased. But anyway, neither here nor there. Y'all should have caught that story a long, long, long time ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do your research. Google it. But anyway, yeah, uh, Ray J kind of made her famous back in the day she was a, you know i ain't gonna say a nobody because everybody's somebody you know what i'm saying especially when they come out that birth canal of their parents but she was i guess you would say a normal person trying to live the hollywood life you know she come from good family stock uh her dad was a lawyer of some sort uh i think it was a criminal lawyer uh, it might have been i think he was criminal i don't think he was civil but uh you know she was already uh, you're used to that luxury lifestyle always you know rub elbows and, and, and cheeks with the you know rich and famous and she definitely knew about fashion but it was before she hooked up with ray j they got her well it was after she hooked up with ray j before she got her sex appeal on okay and people start looking at her and wanting to be her and you know all these young folks want to you know, imitate her, model her, mimic her, however you would say it. But yeah, uh, her claim to fame was getting off uh, in a sex tape that leaked uh, between these two in their sexual pay, sex, sexual escapades in the bedroom. Okay, but you know, like I said, she went through him, went through Reggie Bush, and now she's with Kanye West. And we know how that situation is pretty much uh, making itself up to be okay all right and then i thought she was scared of kanye and scared for her children to be around him i don't understand them both i, I don't i really don't but anyway vogue magazine caught this uh illustration of her i would still want to say halloween costume where she is portraying i don't know it seems to me like an empty vessel a, a jezebel spirit a um uh, how do you say a deity a deity goddess of some sort uh dressed in all black um i'm just not getting a good vibe uh from this outfit other than it just being a halloween costume and everybody's partying with you know uh someone mysterious some kind of spirit it could be a witch i don't i don't, I don't know people on the down low have uh been in them streets talking that she practiced you know uh, witchery type stuff but i'm not sure don't quote me on it it's all allegedly all right but i tell you it ain't too far from believing we're watching her walk in this costume okay i'm just saying i mean whoo him then po posing with all these uh statues that are from greek uh mythological um um what do you call it time I, uh, lack of a better word uh in our history books all these uh goddesses and gods and these de de entities and stuff deities i should say but let's go on and get into what vogue had to say all right we're gonna go with janelle akwudu ak okay wudu i'm tearing up this lady's last name so we're gonna call her janelle she posted it on september 13 2021 this year uh, and she's a Vogue uh, celebrity style, I guess, journalist. And she puts out on uh, the who's who and what they're wearing and what kind of reaction they got from the crowd uh, at this particular uh, festive event called the Met Gala. Okay. But she titles her article, Kim Kardashian, Met Gala Look, Rewrote the Red Carpet <coughs> Rules. That's okay. Got a red carpet, you know, it's supposed to be red. 
but I'm kind of liking that green greenery in the back as well and those etchings on the stone of the staircase uh that she's walking up the cement staircase I, I love that that's some good I ain't gonna say graffiti but it's very uh earthy so I kind of like that I really did she can should have came in something like that cream color give us something but not this black stuff but who teaches on she's very slimming in it and like I said those boots are killing okay I love those boots I wish I could wear those boots but I would only hurt my um my po feet okay my it would only hurt my po feet and, and get them to swell and stuff about biggest pigs you know what I'm saying but anyway that's just my side part we're gonna go on it says uh in the photo uh that's presented to us with this uh uh Trick or Treat Halloween ensemble costume she got going on there. Uh, it was photographed by Theo Wargo. So let's give him his crop props. So if y'all into photography, uh, you might want to check out some of his designs or layouts and get your feel for what he does. Okay. But anyway, we like to give credit where we get our sources from when we're talking about stuff when we can. Okay. Uh, but she goes on to say Kim Kardashian takes her Met Gala fashion seriously. Really, the reality star has consistently gone the extra mile with her choices since she first stepped on the red carpet in the now iconic floor print Givenchy maternal dress in 2013. That's not what we're seeing here. They must be talking about something in the past. Given that and her most recent wet look raindrop gown that pulled um theory muggler out of retirement in 2019 the bar was set high for tonight's affair red carpets are all about celebrities putting their best face forward but what happens when you can't see that face at all kardashian stark black bella again wait a minute bella Saga, belly singer y'all know it's too expensive and i can't pronounce it okay but y'all know what i'm saying ballistica okay how to couture gown with matching mask and train was unlike anything kardashian or anyone else has worn to the met before completely obscuring her features and famous physique the look gave the reality star something she hasn't had in a long while anonymy or autonomy i should say okay all right she didn't want nobody to know who she was so she thought she would come in incognito with that but i'm like man if kanye come up there with some bright colors and can match her even with all the black we already know that's kim kardashian they ain't how to tell us they didn't have to tell us be, you know if it wasn't her good good out good outfit good costume your food us. but <laughs> when you got that joke on your side or he's someone near you see what i'm saying aren't they matched i would have picked them out of the crowd okay just just because how they go go alone in these streets all right <sighs> anyway going back to the article i have my sidebar here and there um they go on to say sh she's entering the gala with bella single designer demina i can't pronounce it, i'm gonna say salia on her arm and, and a matching ensemble featuring a blackout hoodie kardashian kept the entire crowd guessing granted her sister kendall was close by which offered onlookers a hint but the outfit and its mysterious allure gave the crowd something new okay and inventive all right so if you like vogue magazine you like to keep up with fashion and the, the trends that it, are in the past present and future go on and catch vogue.com all right get the magazine or just you know look at it online uh, vogue.com okay and you have vogue uh definitely in the um what do you call it uh grocery stores uh things of that nature but yeah honey she got uh balasinga uh bala what is uh balasinga uh, y'all know what i'm talking about balasinga okay anyway i'm gonna start tearing up that name but that designer Felt that they kept their style and on the Kim Kardashian could wear it. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about the outfit, you know. Was it too risque for y'all? Was it too weird? Was it too mysterious? Because you was going for that mysterious look. And thank you, Just Jared. I borrowed one of your photos of, you know, this event, the Met Gala, that you photo, uh, fo you know, took a photo and put it out there for people to say, see. So anybody know Just Jared? I think he's a photographer as well he might even have his own youtube channel go check him out some Dev chanel 
uh sent them over okay dash nails four days world sent them over sent you all over but that's all i had honey for this particular uh video i was just like dang she got that hourglass figure going on the the boots are perky up you know all of that but i'm just i'm like what is going on that the outfit is giving me hot teas it's just hot <laughs> I'm saying take off that mask girl are you kidding me take that mask off I know you about to burn up in them I know I know you about to burn up in there because you like to be cool every time I used to catch your show um when it was about something when y'all had first came out and things of that nature and Chris put her spin on it you know what I'm saying uh y'all got a little notoriety and it kind of piqued my interest and Girl, you like to stay cool, honey. You like to stay cool. And you like to dress in white. And I'm like, okay, what happened with this black ensemble thing? And then you crossed up like you, you know, I don't know, like you being hung from something. I'm confused, Kim. I'm confused. But the body's banging. The outfit is straight. Uh, not that outfit, but the one that she had her hands up, like her hands was tied up. It was uh, definitely silhouetting her whole um structure of her female anatomy okay but that's all i got y'all the faceless people which are kanye and kim uh kardashian slash um west <laughs> but y'all get down in them comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about this uh video and what was presented in the video i would like to uh, know what y'all thought you know give me y'all thoughts y'all opinions on this um halloween trick-or-treat outfit okay was it a trick y'all or was it a treat for most men i'm thinking they really look to to that outfit as something different sexy um uh definitely alluring and they probably get their rocks knocked off i don't know uh, but anyway that's all i got for this video don't got no more and if you like love and um you want to help me out please share my videos okay share and like sharing is caring all right, talk to y'all next video. Bye-bye.